What's up everybody? I'm Hillbilly Dude and today I'm going to talk about this Gerber Prodigy. This is a new knife that I, I got a while back and I've been carrying it around for a few weeks now. Um, it is a good solid fixed blade knife. I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're just going to jump right into this. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with giving you all the specs and details about everything on this because that's something you can look up really easily online. So I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to put up all the specs on the screen so you'll have them. And I'm just going to focus on my personal opinion and experience with this knife. So, uh, first of all, it's a good made in America knife. Uh, it's got a glass breaker on this end, full tang, rubberized handle. It's great. Uh, it's super comfy. It's not a real fat grip, which is also kind of nice for an EDC because it doesn't really stick out from your belt a whole lot. Um, pretty good thick spine for an EDC, good blade length. Um, I've got big old hands and it, it still fits my hands good. Uh, one thing I will say I did not like, I did not like the sheath, the uh, the configuration of the sheath, I should say, whenever I first got it. And I'm going to go over that here in just a minute. But another thing I really didn't like was that glass breaker. If you're buying this and you want the glass breaker, you don't have to do this. But one of the first things I found out after carrying it, uh, especially carrying it the way I do carry it, I carry it kind of higher up on the belt. Uh, is that that little sharp glass breaker was like digging into my love handle and that, that was no bueno. So I took the grinder to it. I just kind of rounded it off. If you need to break glass, I'm sure you still could with this, but it's, it doesn't have all the sharp edges and uh, it's definitely not, not stabbing me near as much now. So it's way more comfortable to carry the way I carry it. Um, let's see what else. The blade has held up really good. I've touched this up a couple times on a sharpening rod. I don't think I've even used a stone or anything on it yet, um, but the edge has held up really good. I haven't done anything real heavy duty with it, done some woodworking. Um, I've used it like when building these cabinets behind me out here in this little shed. Um, I've used it for, you know, like cutting uh, OSB and plywood and stuff like that, notching out corners. Um, and I've used it, I've taken it camping. I've used it for some camp tasks. I've used it for quite a bit of food prep, probably more than anything, honestly. And uh, so far I haven't found any flaws with it. I've been really happy with the way it works. So, what we're going to get to now is the sheath, and I'm going to show you how I carry it, and I'm going to show you the uh, the way it came. So this is how I carry it. Um, you can put your shirt over it if you want, and it rides good. Like I said, it rides a little higher. I had to modify this, and I'll show you how I done that. Um, but this is this is the way I found I carry it. Uh, I found that it works best for me. And you can tuck your you know if you got an undershirt or whatever. Uh, it helps to have something back behind it, kind of because then it's a lot easier to find it whenever you're putting it in. Basically, that's how I carry it. Easy to get it out. Um, it, the sheath is ambidextrous, so you can put it in like this, or you can put it in like that. Uh, just however it works for you. That's what I like to do. It's easy enough to get to it if I need it. And uh, like I said, you can always hide it if you want to hide it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this, this sheath off my belt, and I'm going to show you what I did to be able to carry it like this. So what I did is I cut all the nylon webbing part of the sheath. It's got straps, all this other stuff. I'll put some footage of that in here. Um, that's the way it comes. And it's basically just this, this molded sheath attached to like a giant piece of nylon. And you're supposed to carry it, it'll ride you know, a lot lower because like, the, the belt loop would be up here. Didn't like that. Um, I like my knives to ride a little higher, especially if I'm gonna be wearing them all the time. So uh, what I did was I just cut this away from the actual, you know, original sheath. I took a couple pieces of paracord. I stuck through these little eyelets and I just tied knots on the back of them, burned the knots with a lighter. And now that gives me these little loops and you can make them as tight or loose as you want, but it gives me these little loops to feed my belt through. So then once you feed your belt through it, you've got a knife that definitely rides a whole lot higher on your waist. And like I said, you can conceal it easier if you want your shirt over it. And that's not, not even really the reason i done it was for concealment. I really mainly did it just because it's a lot easier to have a knife higher, I've found, in my opinion. I like having a knife higher because then the handle's more exposed and you can get a hold of the handle and pull it out. Find your sheath a lot easier. Way down here isn't bad, you know, because it'd be hanging from here and it'd be riding down here. That's not bad either. I just, I, if I'm going to do it for an EDC, I don't like having stuff dangling down from my belt. So this is the way I do it. And it's worked out really good for me. It's nice and tight. It doesn't want to, you know, slide. You have to really pull it to get it off. And, uh, yeah, it's worked out really good. 
One other thing I really like about this sheath is that it's kind of, this part of it is kind of like rubber coated. Mine does rattle just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, it does rattle. But I'm kind of thinking wrapping some electrical tape around it. Or honestly, you could probably, uh, you could probably heat this up like with a hairdryer or something and mold it where it you know closes a little tighter. Not a big deal. Either way, I've found myself in plenty of situations before where I really wished I would have been carrying a fixed blade rather than a folder. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with carrying a good quality folder. I carry it at work all the time. But if I'm working around the farm, if I'm out hunting, uh, camping, anything like that, 100% of the time I prefer a fixed blade if I have it. So this here is small enough, light enough. You can carry this as an EDC or you can just have it in your car, you know, as a, a truck truck knife or you know in a bug out bag or getting home bag whatever you got um it's not a bad option i bought this at walmart for 60 dollars, which i thought was a steal uh for an american made good quality knife because uh i think the uh strong arm right now is going anywhere from like 90 to 100 and this is so freaking close to being like the strong arm uh and it's quite a bit cheaper and it's actually a little bit smaller which I do prefer for an EDC. Another idea that I kind of played with, toyed with, was carrying this scout style across my back. Like say this was my back, you know, carrying it like that, mounting the sheath sideways. And you, and you certainly could. You could do the same thing like I've done here with, with paracord except turn it and carry it scout style. But uh, I don't know, I just don't like, I don't like whenever I bend over it would be like kind of sticking out. So I opted for carrying it vertically and uh, it's worked out pretty good. So I'm probably gonna stick with just continuing to do that. Also, I wear overalls a lot and uh, you know, scout style would work good with blue jeans or something like that. But if you're like me and you wear overalls a lot, uh, carrying it vertically is a lot better option because with my bibs where they come to you know a, a point right here, I just wear a belt underneath and uh, it just kind of sticks out you know, where you would button up the side of your, your overalls. So uh, I do that a lot, carry it, wear it, even with my overalls. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I will probably do a little more testing and reviewing this. And once I get a little more experience with it, I'll make another video. But I just wanted to show you guys what a steal this is right now and what a good quality knife it is. So, uh, yeah. If you are budget-minded and you're looking for something like I was, a small EDC fixed blade, this is a great option. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.